kicking it with Shoreline City Big. Whoa, 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 whoa. I actually can't kick because I'm really, really high up right now because we've got a crazy challenge for our big leaders today. It's gonna be awesome. Cassie's getting the last couple things that we need before we start the challenge. Let's go see what she's up to. Okay, Biggs, I am in the store. I'm about to get everything we need for this awesome challenge for our leaders. Let's go. We gotta put on some, uh, some weight. Biggs, we got the challenge. We got this giant pool of oatmeal right here. Our Biggs leaders are gonna have to try to hang on top of this pole for as long as they can while wearing a backpack. We have a couple more uh, little challenges for you guys that we'll explain along the way, but let's get to it. Uh, it's the sandy beach. It's Galveston, that's what it is. It's Galveston. It's Galveston Beach. That's where we're at. Hey! Ready, you got it, right Lex. Come on. Ah! Oh. Ready, go. Lexi, we heard you like Frozen, so we're going to give you a Frozen color. I don't okay. like Frozen. Change my mind. Uh, a pile of. How long did she last, Cassidy? Uh, dinosaurs? Do you love to read about dinosaurs? Yeah. <laughs> and you, uh, you like gummy bears? You don't like gummy bears? Well, you're about to eat a whole bag of them. There you go, Parker. I refuse to drop. He refuses to drop. Parker, uh, how long did you, uh, how long did Parker last, Cassidy? 51 seconds. <laughs> Where are they? He's got house shoes on. Oh, oh <laughs> All righty. Travis, here we go. You ready? Go. Let's do it. Okay. Oh. Somebody uh, starting the clock for him. Ready? Go. We're going to start you off with a four pound weight. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. I heard you like Sour Patch Kids hello, too. Hello. Uh, these are big kids. Are they so it's, uh, I, I, don't, I think this is full sugar, oh. so there you go. Uh, always make sure to have soap, Biggs, because you know you got to wash your hands. Soap, 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 give me some more. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Biggs, you signed, but our winner is 
What's his price? Uh, here you go. You have a giant hat on uh, Oh, yeah. Wow, how crazy was that? You know, our big leaders are so strong that I thought they would be able to hold themselves up the entire time. But once we put those backpacks on and we started stuffing stuff in those backpacks, it got super, super heavy and they fell into the pool of oatmeal. Biggs, would you swim through a pool of oatmeal? Yeah, you know, I think if I was swimming through a pool of oatmeal, I'd probably bring like spoons with me and I'd maybe like, you know, sw swim and like take a scoop, and then swim and then like take a scoop. You, would you do that? Maybe, but uh, anyways, completely beside the point, what I wanted to talk with you guys about is how those backpacks are just like unforgiveness. What do I mean by that? Well, say you are in class and your teacher says something that kind of hurts your feelings or maybe embarrasses you in front of your class. If you don't forgive them for that, you stuff it in a backpack. Or maybe your dance teacher pushes you too hard in practice and instead of talking to them about it, you just get really frustrated at stuffing it in the backpack. Or maybe you get in a really, really big fight with one of your siblings because they didn't want to share with you and you stuff it in the backpack. And suddenly our backpacks are really, really heavy with all these things that we haven't forgiven these other people with. And if we continue carrying around this weight with us that we were never meant to carry, It'll actually cause us to fall just like our base leaders. And it'll stop us from what God has in store for us. And the reason, Biggs, is we don't want you to go through that too. So what are we going to do today? Well, we are actually going to lock in on loving others and let go of unforgiveness. What does that mean? Well, in order to love someone, you have to forgive them. Because Jesus tells us, he says, to love your enemies and pray for those who hurt you. So we need to pray for our, the people who have hurt us, and we need to forgive them for the things that they did against us. And once we forgive them, we will actually be able to live in the free fullness of what God has in store for us. Hey, Biggs, here's what I want you guys to do today, okay? We are going to lock in on loving others, and we're going to let go of unforgiveness, okay? We're going to lock in on loving others and let go of unforgiveness. One more time, we're gonna lock in on loving others and let go of unforgiveness. And the reason that we do this, guys, is because Jesus first loved us. He forgave us when we hurt him. He came down to earth and died on a cross so that you and I could be friends with him forever. So, Biggs, if you haven't made Jesus your best friend today and you want to know what it feels like to let go of that weight of unforgiveness, I want to give you an opportunity today to make Jesus your best friend. So, if you want to make Jesus your best friend and you want to put him in the driver's seat of your life, will you just bow your head, close your eyes, and put your hand over your heart and just repeat this prayer with me. Say, Dear Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I admit I have made mistakes, but today I give you my heart, I give you my life. Give me the power to live for you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Guys, we are so excited if you just prayed that prayer. We want to know you to know it's the best decision you will ever make in your entire life. We love y'all so unbelievably much. Don't forget, we have connect groups every single week at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. The link will be right down here below. We cannot wait to see you guys there. We love you, Biggs. Bye.